This character was, and always will be, a source of fashion inspo. Well, that depends on what it is. I've done a lot of stuff. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Rachel Green looks we would totally rock today. Before I knew it, we were shopping. <laughs> Oh my God. If you've been loving our beauty content, be sure to check out our series Skin Deeper, a deep investigative look into the science behind the latest beauty trends. Click the link in the description box to watch. For this list, we're looking at the most memorable and timeless outfits that Rachel wore throughout the Friends run. Did you go with her to Bloomingdale's? <laughs> Number 10, Tease Button Up. Even when she's reeling from the fact that Ross unexpectedly came back from his trip to China with a new girlfriend on his arm, Rachel manages to look cute. Hey, Rach, can I get some coffee? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Hey, Rach, can Did I Did you talk to him yet? No. Then no. We love this trucker-style button-up, which somehow still looks fresh, even in an episode that aired nearly a quarter century ago. Here's your lemonade. I didn't order lemonade. Oh. Well, well, then you, you better go take that back, because they're going to charge you for that. But, go, 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 come on, come on. Where there would traditionally be a name tag, the word tease is emblazoned, which in 2019 would read as a cheeky feminist message. Even the zebra print band-aid on her forehead almost looks like a fashion statement. Talk about an unforgettable outfit. Okay, okay, how did this happen to me? How did this happen to me? A week ago, two weeks ago, I was fine. Ross was just Ross, just this guy. Now all of a sudden he's Ross. <laughs> Number nine, yellow embroidered dress. In the earlier seasons, we normally see Rachel in pretty casual outfits when she's hanging out at the apartment or working at Central Perk. Not too shabby for Rachel. <laughs> but every now and then she gets dressed up, like in this season five episode when she's out on a date. So, I guess this is it. Yeah, um, unless you wanna come inside. Yeah. <laughs> She wears a strapless yellow dress with gorgeous floral embroidery, which is totally back on trend nowadays. In this episode, Rachel hires Monica to make all her life decisions for her, and we can't help but wonder which one of the ladies picked out this lovely dress. Hey, Dave. Yeah. Um, listen, I'm gonna need to take a rain check. My roommate is just really sick. Okay? Okay, bye. Number eight, pleated skirt and tall boots. Hi, you guys. While in the first five seasons of the show, Rachel's style may have been defined by her fun, casual pieces, the later seasons saw her step up her game as her career in the fashion industry got more serious. How did the job stuff go? He offered me one. When Rachel announces to the gang that she's been offered a job in Paris, their jaws drop. But ours already had when we saw this incredible outfit. She's wearing a pleated miniskirt with a sleek black turtleneck tucked in and tall black leather boots with a stiletto heel to finish the outfit off. It's no surprise she was offered a job at the most fashionable city in the world. The job is in Paris. Number seven, denim shorteralls. Airing in 1995, season two of the show perfectly epitomizes the fashion of the decade. Rachel wears a lot of denim in this season, and one of our favorite outfits has to be these adorable light wash shorteralls. Did you just say hi, Jew? <laughs> Considering the 90s are officially back in style, we would not be surprised to see a piece like this in some of the most trendy casual wear stores. Baby, that is, that is juice squeezed from a person. <laughs> what is the big deal? No, oh. no, oh my God. God. What did you just do? Over the black and white striped tank top, it looks like a perfect summer outfit for wandering around the village and thinking about comfort more than style, while still looking casually incredible, of course. Thanks for your jacket. Oh, no problem. You can borrow it, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Number six, mauve floral dress. After Rachel gives birth to Emma, it's finally time for her first big night out on the town with Phoebe. Wow, you, you look, uh... <clears throat> I mean, it's just uh, that, uh, that, that dress. Uh. She wears a midi-length floral dress that shows off her post-pregnancy figure, so much so that Ross cannot stop staring at her. Even Phoebe can't help but comment. Ooh, girls' night out indeed. <laughs> Clearly, it was a big hit at the bar as well, considering how the rest of her night ends up going. Mm. Oh my god, you're giving your real number. <laughs> This style, the hemline in particular, is currently back in fashion, and this is the perfect breezy dress to wear on a summer night out. Number five, spaghetti strap red gown. When Joey is nominated for a Soapy Award, he asks Rachel to accompany him to the award show. 
and she pulls out all the stops in a sexy crimson hued dress. Now, I'm trying to remember, if you win, you have to hug me, you hug me. Okay. Can I squeeze your ass? <laughs> On TV? Yeah. Getting to see Rachel don some formal wear for an occasion like this is a rare treat on Friends, and she looks elegant and stylish in the spaghetti strap gown. Look what I won! <laughs> oh my god, you stole her award. No, 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 I'm accepting it on her behalf. The bright red color is one that we don't see her wear often, as she usually sports more subdued shades, but it's totally flattering and a piece that we'd be happy to wear today. If I can't have it, you can't have it. <laughs> Number four, layered button-up dress. Even all the way back in season one, Rachel had already nailed down her personal style. In the episode, The One with the Stoned Guy, Rachel wears this casual outfit that really shows off her sartorial edge. Can you see my nipples through this shirt? <laughs> no. But don't worry, I'm sure they're still there. The long button-down dress has a silhouette that pretty much screams 90s, but also feels relevant today, as the long sleeve shirt underneath adds some visual interest to the ensemble. You know, I don't mean to brag, but I waited tables at Innsbruck in 76. <laughs> <laughs> a moose bouche Later in the episode, she wears a crisp white blouse underneath a black dress, and it also looks awesome. Rachel's pro-layering techniques can serve as a lesson to us even decades later. I have no waitress. Oh, that's too bad. Bye-bye. <laughs> Number three, gray fitted dress. It's not exactly Ross and Rachel's finest moment when an attempt to tell the gang how they conceived a child together turns into a debate about who came on to who, or whom. You know what, uh, it's, it's not important. <laughs> What's important is that, is that we're having a baby, and it's not, it doesn't matter who came on to who. Whom. <laughs> That's right. It may be a thin silver lining, but at least Rachel, for her part, still looked pulled together and confident throughout the whole discussion, thanks to her mature and sleek outfit. Rachel, please. Oh, a little preview. <laughs> Fine. Fine. But I want the record to show that I tried to take the high road, because in about five minutes, I'm going to be saying... <laughs> By season eight, Rachel's style had evolved to be much more grown up, and this gray printed suit dress is the perfect example of it. Though this entire episode ends up being pretty embarrassing, this outfit helps Rachel give off an air of being above it all. Ever tell you about the time that I went backpacking through Western Europe? Okay, get ready to see some begging. Oh, you came on the Ross! Number two, black and red plaid pants. In the early seasons, Rachel is all about plaid, be it skirts, dresses, or frequently, pants. What do you think? Lots of things. <laughs> Which one do you think she is? In this late season one episode, Monica finds out that her identity has been stolen and seeks out the woman who's pretending to be her. Monica, Rachel, and Phoebe all go to a dance class together to confront the thief. And Rachel wears this irreverent outfit. Do you ever just feel like sometimes you are so unbelievably uncoordinated? It clearly is not made for dancing, but the red and black printed plaid pants make a statement, and adding a graphic tee makes the look even more fun and youthful. And we're dancing! A five, six, seven, eight. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Hey, listen, Mitzi, if you want this part, you're gonna have to take me with it! I can't believe you don't wanna know. I mean, I couldn't not know. I mean, if, if the doctor knows, and Carol knows, and Susan knows. I just can't believe this. I mean, with the holidays coming up, I wanted them to meet my family. <laughs> I'll meet someone else. There'll be other Alan. Oh, oh, yeah, right. right. Let's just do it. Let's just go over there and just see if she heard. Good plan. Okay. Okay. What? Where, where are you going? Oh, I'm sorry, Rachel. I don't have time for your childish games, okay? <laughs> yeah, you know, that'll be nice, actually, to have the apartment to myself for a night. Oh, yeah. So you can walk around naked. <laughs> Number one, plaid skirt and knee socks. When Rachel is watching Ross's monkey, Marcel, she chooses a pretty bomb babysitting outfit. <laughs> Did you poo in the shoe? Oh, Marcel, 
for a simple night in, she opted for a short plaid skirt, again with the plaid, a cropped mock neck sweater, and knee socks. Honestly, it's a knockout outfit, and her simple updo puts the focus squarely on her clothes. Who died? Who died? <laughs> roll him over! Oh, come on, roll him over! Oh! Well, you know it wasn't Dexter, right, Marcel? Because. Marcel. The stockings add an extra element of youthful fun to the outfit, but the entire thing is totally enviable. Considering how trends have come around again, every single item in this outfit would totally work today. And even paired all together, you would look totally in style. Okay, you stay here and just wait by the phone. Spray Lysol in my shoe and wait for Ross to kill you. <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.